Now, the Bring Your Booze parties at 10 Downing Street during the COVID lockdown in Britain are likely to prove very costly for Boris Johnson. A member of parliament from Boris Johnson's Tory party, William Bragg, will meet with the Metropolitan Police. Now, to discuss with them the alleged intimidation and blackmailing that the Boris Johnson government has resorted to against him. Remember, on Thursday, William Ragg made the sensational allegation of blackmail as he had expressed support for a no-confidence motion against Boris Johnson after revelations of the now infamous lockdown parties. In recent days, a number of members of parliament have faced pressures and intimidation from members of the government because of their declared or assumed desire for a vote of confidence in the party leadership of the Prime Minister. It is, of course, the duty of the Government Whip's office to secure the Government's business in the House of Commons. However, it is not their function to breach the Ministerial Code in threatening to withdraw investments from Members of Parliament's constituencies which are funded from the public purse. Rag said he will be meeting a Scotland Yard detective in the House of Commons early next week, raising the prospect that the police could open a new investigation. He has also urged other MPs to contact the police force if they too have been threatened or intimidated by 10 Downing Street. But how has the Boris Johnson government threatened Tory MPs like William Ragg? According, according to the allegations, this has been done by threatening to withhold government funding to the constituencies of the MPs. The threats reportedly have been made by the office of the party to deter MPs from pressing for a no-confidence vote against Johnson. Now, countering the allegations, Boris Johnson has publicly insisted that there is no evidence to support William Ragg's allegations, but has added that he will, of course, look for proof. Now, the bombshell allegations of threats and blackmail have come at a time when 10 Downing Street is bracing itself for the report of Sue Gray, the senior civil servant who is investigating the lockdown parties, and she is expected to submit a report next week.